Welcome everyone. Welcome to uh, today's open discussion. And as you go, uh, as you guys are aware that today's topic is exploring overthinking, and uh, we are also going to dig deeper into this topic of overthinking, why it happens, why we keep overthinking, uh, what are the roots, where are the roots, and uh, you know, then we will also talk about how we can get over it. So that's what today's conversation is going to be about. And as this is an open discussion, a few new people have joined. So this is not going to be a one-way delivery kind of a session where it's like we only talk and we deliver something. No, it's going to be a two-way communication session. And we want all of you to participate in the process, share your stories, experiences, um, your issues that you're going through. You can ask your questions, so on and so forth. So we are going to keep it interactive. We are going to keep it um, a uh, conversational in nature so that's how it's going to be so now coming to today's topic of overthinking mm -hmm. and um, uh, it's it's a pretty self-explanatory thing uh, we all have been doing this at some or the other point of our life so uh, there's no point point in talking about what is overthinking we all are aware of it uh, we'll get straight into talking about <clears throat> you know, the deeper dynamics of overthinking. So overthinking per se is um, not exactly a cause of something. Um, of course, it can cause to many different issues and many different problems in our life. Like, you know, a lot of people who go through mental health issues or emotional health issues, you know, our whole system is imbalanced, our whole system is dysregulated at times. And we see that overthinking, you know, leads to, Things like insomnia or uh, not being able to perform in life, not being able to take decisions properly, not having clarity, and so on and so forth. Many different issues. It may appear like it is a cause of those issues, and at one apparent level it is. But actually, overthinking, if we look deeper into it, it's um, not exactly a cause, but it is actually an effect. Hmm? And why is overthinking an effect? So. Um, you know, if you just look into um, the uh, the deeper things which go beneath overthinking, you will see that, you know, something we keep thinking about, right? There's something going on in our head. We, we are sometimes, you know, not even aware of what exactly are those thoughts. It's like, you know, like, like the mind has become like a monkey and it's jumping from one branch of the tree to another and then another just randomly random thoughts at times going on uh, and it keeps coming up coming up coming up and it gets so overwhelming at a period of time um, that we feel that oh god i don't know how how do i handle it so what is it that we keep overthinking about hmm. so if we bring this into picture you will see that you know it is um the the monkey mind as we talk about it is either about the past or about the future so it's literally impossible for us to overthink about something which is right there in front of us so let's suppose there is some work that you need to do and it's there in front of you and you are there you're there present with it there is no such thing like you will overthink about you know uh, how how this is um, this task is to be done and blah 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 and even if we there is something in currently in front of us if we are overthinking about it that certainly pertains that we are either bothered about something related to that task from the past or how, or the you know consequences that thing is going to bring to us in the future so we will see that it is all about either the past or the future so overthinking per se is a very very vast topic it's it's so huge because it's it's an effect it's not a cause when we discuss about causes then uh, causes can be specific and that's what we're going to explore today that we are going to look into these different sides of the past and the future and which of these lead to overthinking so when it is about the past about things which have already happened Overthinking usually comes up in the form of stress, worry, tension. And when it is about the future, it usually comes up in the form of anxiety, in the form of um, 
you know feeling anxious all the time that you know how things are going to be i don't know if i'll be able to handle it i don't know how the other person is going to react so on and so forth so it's either in the past or in the future we keep dwelling from one place to another hmm? now um uh going further into you know why we overthink hmm? and uh, what what could be the root cause of this overthinking so we understood that it could it is either of the past or of the future but before we go forward and dig deeper into it all the guys who are here so i want you guys to do an a small quick exercise with this entire thing and i want you guys to contemplate upon what could be a possible benefit of overthinking so any of you who get the answer you can raise your hand and then we can go one by one so the question is what could be the possible benefit of overthinking yes mohit uh you are more aware of what's going to happen and you can plan it better uh maybe brainstorm or different options if something happens what my action would be and you can choose the best uh, uh, right now hmm it helps you prepare better So yeah. you think overthink overthinking helps you prepare better. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, who else? Ruchi. Yeah. Uh, hi, Anamika. I, I I I actually want to uh, add something here. The before you say something, Ruchi. Um. Ruchi, there is some noise. Ha. Huh? Thank you. so i think one uh, point which requires a little bit of uh, digging before we get into this is what exactly is overthinking or what is the difference between thinking and overthinking ruchi you can go ahead okay okay so uh, for me i am a big big overthinker so but for me an advantage i can think of it is that uh, it prevents you from taking irrational decisions and impulsive ones at times uh, a situation may trigger you off completely but when you keep on overthinking overthinking so uh, it helps you to you know calm your mind and be more uh, more rational and more logical at times so you do not act in haste you know at times so so you uh, prevent yourself from making any blunders right okay okay <clears throat> thanks thanks ruchi um who else is there so uh, Kav- kavita you have your hand up you want to say something hi good evening all hi everyone good evening, hi, good evening everyone Thing. Good evening. Yes, you wanted to say something, Kavita. Your hand was up. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, as you were asking, what is the benefits? What are the benefits? Here, that what what circumstances can happen? What what possibilities can happen? Here, it seems that for them, we are a little bit prepared. We are thinking that if this can happen, if that can happen, we can say this. If that can happen, we can say that. If that can happen, we can say this. Or what 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 possibilities can happen? Here, just the benefits. Other than that, there are no. और कोई बेनिफिट्स नहीं है ओके ओके थैंक्स थैंक्स कविता लेट्स हियर फ्रॉम एवरीवन फर्स्ट सो विजयता योर हैंड आई मीन सॉरी दीपिका दीपिका योर हैंड इज अप फर्स्ट सो आई हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल हां यस यू आर so my uh, i was not answering my question was immediately after i heard uh, what mohit said about planning and uh, uh, planning of the consequences ahead you know, like even before akarma you said that what is the difference between overthinking and thinking i was about to ask uh, mohit the question that uh, that the planning and all can be done through thinking as well i mean overthink why is overthinking required to plan ahead so in my perspective there is no advantage or benefit out of overthinking as i see it yeah this is the reason why i asked that question also because when he said that then i realized 
it's probably important yeah, for us to, yeah, to so differentiate yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So what I thought of the question difference? even before you said that. Yeah, I wanted to ask. Huh. So, in your opinion, what is the difference between thinking and overthinking? Thinking, I would say, is uh, thinking rationally. I mean, uh, thinking being in the present moment. Uh, not being anxious about the future and not being uh, regretful about the uh, past. So taking all the rational points in uh, uh, accord before planning ahead. Overthinking can be of thinking of maybe the uh, just being anxious as a result of anxiety. Hello? Right, right. Because oh. think of irrational yeah. things. Yeah, that, yeah. And it just increases our anxiety, our blood pressure, and doesn't give us any benefit rather than keeping us in a loop all the time. Right, right. Good. That is a good point, Deepika. Let's his listen from others also that what benefit they get out of overthinking. Uh, Avni, your hand is up. Yeah, hi. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I I actually was on the same lines of what was just spoke uh, onto something similar. So it's difficult to say that overthinking has any benefits. However, if you want to put it in a benefit way, then uh, if we are repeatedly thinking over the same issue too longer, uh, then automatically we have probably thought of so many options. Uh, then the byproduct, which we call benefit of overthinking, could be that if one of that happens or some of that happens, then we feel you know so we just uh, putting our mind so deep into that uh, so actually it is rational thinking but yeah I mean if we want to put it in the benefit way then we we would feel that okay we have already thought about this also because of overthinking that is one solace to give to ourselves uh, eventually when that thing happens what we have thought about is what I wanted to share. Right, right. So what you're saying, Avni, is that we continue to overthink about it and then eventually that same thing happens and then we have a justification that, see, I was thinking about it and this yes. is why it happened. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah. yeah, so it's not exactly a benefit, but yeah, we may feel that I thought so much about it, I thought it was going to be the same way, is how... Mm. Uh, our mind may take it when we uh, when it eventually happens. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. And, and then at times overthinking uh, overthinking uh, acts as a justification to ourselves uh, because we've clogged our mind with it. So it is easier to justify things that uh, I'd already thought about it or you know something like that to to feel a little less miserable. Hmm. Hmm. Right, right. That is a very important point that you shared, Avni. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cool. Who's next? Amanpreet. Yeah. Hi, Namika. Uh, actually, if you ask me in particular, I don't think there is any benefit of overthinking because um, at the end of the day, you are only making yourself more anxious and you are extrapolating situations and thinking to a level uh, where things have not happened and you assume they are happening that way. And it sometimes, not sometimes, it usually does affect your current mood and uh, it sometimes does even because you have thought over situations which have actually not happened so i don't think there are any benefits of overthinking but to be honest i've not been able to stop overthinking <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's why this this question because 
uh, consciously when we think of it we all understand as a, as adults that you know there is no benefit of doing it we are only making ourselves you know more uh, putting ourselves in the same issues in a loop we understand that consciously but yet we continue to do it because there is indeed a benefit subconsciously like there are few points which already are shared first point being you know it helps you uh, feel that you know you will be able to prevent um, upcoming uh, you know hazardous or uh, dangerous situations you will uh, you will be able to you know um, anticipate all the possible negative outcomes that could come in your life and you are able to handle those and you prepare yourself you know jaise ki ek jungle mein hum rehte hain na aur hum jungle mein hame pata hai kabhi bhi sher aa sakta hai so we have to keep our guards up all the time so likewise the more we are prepared the more we will be capable enough to handle the tiger or the lion so likewise that is one benefit another very important good point which like avni added that you know we when we continue to do that and we keep doing it and doing it and doing it because we live in law based universe it happens so that you know jo cheeze hum feel karte hain whatever we think we feel we say we keep uh, putting out and we keep getting the same thing over and over again so it's kind of a self fulfilling prophecy but wo self fulfilling prophecy hamare matlab jaisa hum soch rahe the waisa tha right it was kind of a projection of it it was kind of like like uh, something which came out of it and that gives us a reason a justification to say ki dekha mujhe to pata tha mujhe to aise hi hota hai i know this is how it happens and it gives us a reason to you know justify ourselves so those are two very good and important points which came up let's uh, now listen to thank you thank you amanpreet let's listen to others as well palak uh, if i can add something here sorry uh, i just feel actually uh, if i speak in my own context i feel that actually sher aata nahi hai somewhere i feel we manifest the sher irrespective of the fact because we keep so much thinking about it कि वो आ ही जाता है एंड वी फील कि वी न्यू दिस इज कमिंग बट समटाइम्स आई फील इट इज वी हु आर ब्रिंगिंग इट इट्स नॉट एक्चुअली हैपनिंग दैट वे आई डोंट नो इफ आई एम राइट और रॉन्ग बट आई समटाइम्स फील दैट आई हैव सो स्ट्रांगली यू नो ओवर थॉट ओवर अ प्रोसेस और आई हैव सो डीपली टेकन थिंग्स एक्सट्रापोलेटेड टू दैट लेवल दैट आई हैव एक्चुअली स्पॉइल्ड द थिंग्स टू दैट एक्सटेंड कि इट हैपेंड द वे आई हैव थॉट इट वुड yeah yeah that's that's true and that's how things happen right because we are focusing too much of our energy into you know share jo ki abhi tak aaya nahi hai ya pata nahi aayega ya nahi aayega but hame lagta hai ki shayad aa jaye right and then it's it's like you know we keep thinking so much that sometimes we end up manifesting it because and and even if let's suppose we don't but by overthinking it's like because your mind or or if i use even the word brain uske liye to sher aana aur agar usne imagination mein sher aa gaya hai so so the body and the feelings and everything that comes up is the same thing uske liye to koi difference hai nahi it's it's like you know sher abhi tak aaya nahi hai but aapke mind mein to aa chuka hai abhi tak it's already existing in your imagination and uh, eventually when we focus too much and too much and too much over it and then ho bhi jata hai the same thing occurs yeah thank you thank you so much amanpri that was that was very uh, good uh, good point cool who was next uh, palak yes so uh, anamika in my opinion uh, like everyone is uh, here uh, saying that uh, overthinking helps you in uh, like uh, deciding or gives you many options but in my opinion i don't think it is true it actually uh, make, keeps your analysis in a paralysis mode you just don't act you just go into that thinking loop but for me the only benefit i can see is uh, i guess if you dig into it deeply it is the resemblance of your deeply uh, grained fear and insecurities which you are not able to uh, face or overcome uh, like generally uh, agar hum baat kare ki hum zyada tar overthinking unhi चीजों पे करते हैं जो हमें फैमिलियर नहीं होती है अनफैमिलियर चीजें होती है कि तो इसीलिए हमारी ओवरथिंकिंग होती है कि हम 
क्या होगा आगे जाके तो वो डीपली ग्रेन हमारा फियर होता है या फिर कोई इनसिक्योरिटी हो सकती है जिसकी वजह से हम सोचते रहते हैं सोचते रहते हैं और ये होता है क्योंकि अगर नॉर्मल थिंकिंग होती जो हम ऑप्शंस की बात कर रहे हैं दैट कैन कम फ्रॉम द रैशनल थिंकिंग ओनली बल्कि बेटर ऑप्शन हमें नॉर्मल थिंकिंग से ही मिल सकते हैं ओवर थिंकिंग से तो हमें सर, मेरे हिसाब से तो सिर्फ डर मिलता है और एक थिंकिंग लूप मिलता है जिसकी वजह से हम सिर्फ सोचते रह जाते हैं ऑप्शंस आने के बाद भी और कुछ कर नहीं पाते सो दिस इज माय ओपिनियन दैट इट इज रेम्बलेंस ऑफ योर फियर एंड इन डीपली ब्रेन इनसिक्योरिटीज और द अनफैमिलियर पाथ व्हिच यू आर गोइंग टू टेक व्हिच इफ यू इफ समवन डिग्स इनटू डीपर कैन हेल्प समवन टू ओवरकम दैट सो दिस इज द ओनली बेनिफिट व्हिच आई कैन सीक थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू Actually, in my thinking, overthinking say we create lots of हवाई uh, किले which is not existing in real life. हम खुद से ही चीजों को extrapolate कर लेते हैं और उसके बाद we go into depression, we go into several kind of uh, mental disorders. और uh, overthinking से बस problem को हम elaborate कर देते हैं extra extrapolate कर देते हैं while uh, normally thinking में we uh, keep our rational thinking and उसके अकॉर्डिंगली वेन वी आर लाइक कॉन्शियसली थिंकिंग वेन चीजें वी कैन फाइंड आउट द सोल्यूशन फॉर डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम बट ओवर थिंकिंग में वही एज समरेडी एक्सप्लेन दैट यहाँ कितनी बार डिप्रेशन हो जाता है एंग्जाइटी हो जाती है वी गो थ्रू पैनिक अटैक्स पैनिक अटैक्स में क्या होता है लोग सोचने लगते हैं अगर मैं अगर ऐसा हो गया तो क्या होगा मुझे कुछ हो गया तो फैमिली का क्या होगा ऐसा होगा वैसा होगा तो दीज आर लाइक डिसएडवाटेजेस ऑफ ओवर थिंकिंग मुझे हाई बी पी है कल को मुझे कुछ हुआ फैमिली को क्या होगा ये होगा वो होगा तो या एक तरह से डर भी जाते हैं हम लोग बट रैशनली तो हमें ये सोचना है कि मुझे हाई बीपी है मैं उसको कैसे सही करूं दैट्स इट क्या कह रहा है एक समथिंग हियर जस्ट अ टू मिनट आई थिंक थिंकिंग इज प्लानिंग एंड ओवर थिंकिंग इज द फियर ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी व्हेन वी प्लान समथिंग वी नो द एंड रिजल्ट व्हाट्स गोना हैपन बट द फियर ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी फोर्सेस अस टू ओवर थिंक एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी ट्राई टू प्लान and see what's going to happen and how i will you know face those situations no but we are going a little ahead in the conversation so let's come back a little bit thank you thank you pala kanupama and mohit what the pointers that you guys have made are really uh, you know apt and important so we will come back to this we will talk about this because for us to let go of that fear or insecurity we also need to dig a little bit more deeper into why we keep doing it because ye sari cheeze jo hum bolte hain agar yahan pe jitne bhi log hain call mein all the people who are here at some level we all understand and know these things right but subconsciously we are not able to stop it but it continues to happen so like the points you guys have made the third and most important benefit that we get out of you know overthinking is control it keeps us under the illusion of control so i'm going to use the word illusion hmm? why it keeps us in the illusion of control because the thing is that when it comes to us manifesting our reality it comes to us manifesting and bringing things and getting things on our way and bringing it to our lives you know getting things done achieving things becoming successful in work in relationship so on and so forth so the thing is that there are too many unknowns in the picture so hamari yahan pe jo yes hamari yahan pe jo ladai hai the fight that we are doing towards samne wala jo the opponent is you right the opponent seems like 
there are too many fact factors which are not in my control too many unknowns here hmm? and because the opponent is so big so we have to also grow bigger in the size to fight with it to bring those things in our life right so that for us to feel to to fight take on that fight to bring all of those things in our life the method that we choose so we call it you know this is basically like a safety mechanism or coping mechanism or a defense mechanism for us because because we are afraid like fears you guys are talking about hmm? because overthinking makes us feel somewhere safe safe somewhere in control that you know kuch bhi aa jaye acha acha i'll i'll handle it i'll handle it okay okay dekhte hain abhi abhi kahin se bhi sher aa sakta hai 360 degree abhi handle karenge abhi handle karenge although we all understand that in the process of being afraid of the sher being afraid of the lion everything we are missing out in the picture so our vision is like literally tunnel vision at that point of time and we continue to live our life with that tunnel vision बिकॉज हमें ये अश्योरिटी मिलती है कि ये टनल से जो भी दिख रहा है ना कम से कम इतना तो हम हैंडल कर सकते हैं एटलीस्ट दिस मच वी कैन हैंडल सो इट मेक्स अस फील बिगर मेक्स अस फील सेफ मेक्स अस फील दैट वी आर इन कंट्रोल सो देर वॉज दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन वी वर हैपनिंग विद दिस गर्ल और लेडी समाइम बैक एंड शी वॉज गोइंग थ्रू दिस इशू एंड शी वुड कीप कंटिन्यू to come back to this point and we continue to dig deeper into it deeper into it deeper into it and, and at the end she came and said ki I, we were talking and we were asking her kyun nahi chhod sakte overthinking kya hai kyun pakad ke rakhna hai then she came to the realization and this point that it makes me feel safe and this is the only way i know to feel safe hmm? so it helps us to feel safe in our cocoon that ओके ओके सब जगह से ढक लिया कवर कर लिया गार्ड कर लिया वी हैव गार्डेड आर सेल्फ सो मच सो दैट इज वन इम्पॉर्टेंट यू नो बेनिफिट विच पीपल गेट आउट ऑफ ओवर थिंकिंग ऑफकोर्स सबकॉन्शियसली कॉन्शियसली कैसे ओवर थिंकिंग हो सकती है अगर हम कॉन्शियस ही होते तो हम चेंज कर लेते बट द थिंग इज दैट इवन इफ वी कॉन्शियसली अंडरस्टैंड एंड वी आर अवेयर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स वो रुकता नहीं है and for us to change that pattern we have to become aware ki oh where are the deeper roots of these pattern and where is it actually coming from mera kya hai right so there could be some of you so most of the examples that you have you guys have given are future oriented but there are there would be some people here or you would see in your environment it's not about past uh, uh, future for them unki overthink to kuch overthinking kuch aur hi cheez mein ho rahi hai they are overthinking about the past मेरे साथ ऐसा क्यों हुआ मेरे से ऐसा क्यों मैं ऐसे घर में ही पैदा क्यों हो गई मुझे ये पेरेंट्स क्यों मिल गए मुझे ये एनवायरनमेंट क्यों मिल गया व्हाई वाज आई नॉट बोर्न विद राइट पेरेंट्स राइट सिबलिंग्स राइट सेट ऑफ फैमिली राइट एनवायरनमेंट एंड एंड एक्स वाई व्हाई डिड शी स्पीक टू मी लाइक दिस वाई डिड ही डू डू दैट टू मी वाई 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 अबाउट सो मेनी क्वेश्चन द वाई क्वेश्चन अबाउट द पास ये क्यों हो गया मेरे साथ Hmm. that is also another category of overthinking so there are different phases and categories in which this thing uh, comes um okay so now uh, okay there are two more people let's listen to uh, ishita next and then prerna and then we will move forward in this conversation three benefits we have discussed yes prerna anything you want to add hi anamika am i audible you are Yeah. Okay. So glad to be on this call and share space with all of you. Um, overthinking के बारे में benefit तो नहीं है. Just want to share my small experience that there was a phase in my life where I was overthinking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And just like you said, it gives the illusion of um, a control. It was also giving me an illusion of taking action. क्योंकि मैं सबसे advice पूछ रही थी कि ऐसा ऐसा situation है क्या करना है क्या करना है क्या करना है. And I would not take any tangible action. And I was I used to sit and overthink. इनका एडवाइस सुनूंगी तो कॉन्सिक्वेंस कुछ ऐसा निकल के आ सकता है ये करूंगी तो वैसा हो सकता है वो करूंगी तो वैसा हो सकता है उसमें भी मैं एडवाइस ही ले रही थी बट मैं टेंजिबल एक्शन कुछ ले नहीं रही थी एंड दैट वाज ओनली इंटेंसिफाइंग दी ओवर थिंकिंग प्रोसेस टुडे व्हेन आई लुक बैक एट दो ईयर्स वेन आई लुक बैक एट दो मंथ्स वेन आई वॉज डूइंग दिस ओवर थिंकिंग गैदरिंग एडवाइस गैदरिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन आई फील वेरी बैड दैट आई कुड हैिफरेंटली बिकॉज जो जो हुआ वो कुछ कुछ हुआ गलत भी हुआ बट आई वॉज एक्चुअली एबल टू मैनेज इट वेल इट वॉज नॉट इतना भी कुछ बुरा नहीं हुआ था दैट कि एकदम तूफान आ गया आफत आ गई एंड 
हाँ हुआ रॉन्ग थिंग्स हैपन बैड थिंग्स हैपन बट ओके पीपल केम टू बेल मी और पीपल केम टू सेव मी आई ऑल्सो लर्न एवरीथिंग तो टुडे व्हेन आई लुक बैक एट दैट फेज आई फेल आई फील कि छह यार आई कुड हैव यूज दैट टाइम वेरी डिफरेंटली तो दैट इज वन थिंग दैट आई कीप टेलिंग माय सेल्फ नाउ व्हेन आई गेट इनटू ओवर थिंकिंग कि यू नो लुक बैक एट लुक बैक तुमने क्या किया यू कुड हैव यूज दैट टाइम वेरी डिफरेंटली तो दैट इज वेयर आई नाउ यू नो आस्क माय सेल्फ एंड आई आइडेंटिफाई दैट लूप ऑफ ओवर थिंकिंग इन माय सेल्फ टुडे वाओ दैट दैट इज सच एन अमेजिंग पॉइंट टू प्रेम नाउ that is that is so interesting i mean it is new for me also that yes i guess um you know overthinking exactly i wouldn't say but in your case the way you said it it makes so much sense that it helps you keep under the illusion of you know not taking any actual actions tangible actions and you know continue to procrastinate because it gives you an illusion that you're doing something you are thinking you're analyzing you you are doing something right so if we talk about procrastinators and it usually happens that procrastinators also are overthinking thinkers so i'm able to you know now connect the dots myself also so so that's that's so valuable trainer very interesting thank you so much and and i realize that how these things go like literally in parallel and together it helps us to you know continue to procrastinate yeah thank you Cool. Ishita. Yeah. Hi, Anamika. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, so, Anamika, I want to uh, talk about the point where you said uh, overthinking helps you feel safe or gives you the illusion of safety. Um, but sometimes it happens with me that overthinking happens automatically due to certain fear or insecurity. Uh, suppose an incident happened, and due to that, I start overthinking. and that makes me unsafe actually i am not able to stop the overthinking and i'm constantly feeling unsafe and i need to do something in order to i need to take an action immediately otherwise it will not let me uh be peaceful at all so um and that action could be beneficial or it could be an impulsive action which could lead to more problems for me as well so that also has happened with me and i would like to know your inputs on that aspect yeah it appears so appears so that overthinking is making you feel say unsafe but the actual story is that a triggering event made you unsafe and overthinking happened as an effect of it okay so overthinking per se cannot make anybody feel unsafe because it is in itself a trauma response okay overthinking is a response ha ye alag baat hai that whether that response is coming in awareness unawareness consciously subconsciously kya hai kitna hai that could uh, differ in varying degrees you know to all the people who are here to different people who are outside wo different degrees mein aur wo sab proportions mein ho sakta hai but per se overthinking to effect hai na isliye that's why I, shared in the uh, beginning ki overthinking is not a cause of anything it's not overthinking that is making you feel unsafe overthinking is your response to feeling unsafe unsafe to aap pehle hi feel kar chuke ho ye sare to uske ha uske follow up thoughts hain uska follow up response hai to abhi overthinking ho raha hai on how to mitigate the situation like kaise niklu bahar uski wajah se ha हाँ तो वही है कि अगेन इट कम्स बैक टू द पॉइंट दैट अब नाउ वी आर एट अ पॉइंट वी कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट क्या था व्हिच मेड यू ओवरथिंक व्हाट इज इट दैट यू आर वरिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज इट दैट यू आर ओवरथिंकिंग अबाउट व्हाट आर योर ट्रिगर्स व्हाट आर योर फ्यूज व्हाट आर योर इनसिक्योरिटीज व्हिच यू नो वाज अ पॉइंट व्हिच एवरीबॉडी एल्स वाज ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग अप सो नाउ कम्स अ पॉइंट वेयर वी अम स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस देयर्स अ Okay, there's one more person who wants to share something, I guess, Mamta, and then we will uh, talk about that. Yes, Mamta, anything you want to say? Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, so uh, the, today only I have just joined the group. I think it was a great opportunity to you know uh, come up with these ideas and you know discuss about this very crucial topic, overthinking. I hope I'm audible. 
Hello. You are. You, you are. Okay. 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 So just a different thought. Uh, I don't know. I. I. Uh, I. There are the various ideas. I think. Uh, you know. You. We all, as an individual, try to be rational most of the times. Uh, uh, you know, when we talk or learn about uh, you know, handling or controlling our behaviors in different situations. I think um, at times we also try to probably exercise in accepting uh, the faces what we go through it may be you know uh, overthinking or anxiety or going through depression i think accepting that yes i am overthinking itself helps you to you know manage your emotions and consequences of faces what you are going through so if i overthink yes probably this is so important for me it is uh that bad uh, you know because of which i am overthinking and i really know that i'm overthinking about it and i can't help it but what i can do the best is can i accept that i'm overthinking so, you know after doing that or doing that to that probably it opens the gate to uh, work towards uh, you know thinking and overthinking towards the positivities of the situation what i am in probably that helps i really don't know works for me at times okay okay thank you thank you so much mamta for sharing that welcome. yes welcome the first thing indeed is that we need to accept that we are overthinking right and then we can go forward and uh, you know take the possible steps to you know change it like one thing you shared that you Uh, except that you go through the phases and then you divert the same energy that you're putting over there towards something more positive okay cool thank you thank you so much mamta uh, rupali your hand is up uh hi anamika actually i have a question uh it is like uh, i mean uh, it's not a question as a sorry uh, like i just wanted to share that it mostly happens to me uh, when i am alone when i am just sitting uh, during the day time like i'm just sitting normally and uh, uh, like i'm bored or something and i'm not busy at work or anything so it just happens automatically that your brain keeps thinking and it suddenly gets into overthinking more than i have seen that i get into like anxiety or panic attacks and all that it just happens when uh, you are alone and there is no one to talk to or discuss or share your issues so that's when and as, as soon as you go out or uh, you know like you you have someone to discuss or talk to it it just uh, fades away then but uh, that till that point i think it is very very uh, difficult to manage it on your own you you never understand like uh, you know at what point you should stop thinking and uh, how immediately it escalates to get into some kind of panic or anxiety attack so you don't understand that so that that's uh, the situation that i'm going through i just wanted to share and maybe you you can tell uh, if if uh, this is all because of overthinking and how we can overcome it right so you also shared that rupali your triggering is when you are usually happens when you are alone yes yes hmm hmm and then now um you have uh, uh, done these uh, you know workshops so whenever you are alone we can then go deeper into understanding ki us point of time pe when you are triggered with these events what exactly is happening inside you at that point of time what are the things what us trigger ke sath sath what are the thoughts that are keep that come up because when you are triggered everything uh, you know everything that you have accumulated inside your fears your insecurities your uh, worries and your stress and your anxiety and everything starts coming up slowly on the surface hmm? and we don't know what to do at that point of time and that's the point actually where most of us you know um get into our same destructive and uh, behavior same uh, coping mechanisms say, say same defense mechanisms and we keep you know overthinking and keep doing all of these things 
so now the thing is that once you have understood that this is the time where you overthink then you go deeper into this event and you understand that uh what is it that is happening around you and i'm 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 pretty sure that uh, you know when you're al already actually in that moment it's very hard but the thing is for us to find the answers of these root causes we need to dig deeper into this moment because this is the best time where everything everything will come upon the surface and you then become aware of okay this is my fear of being alone or things are getting bottled up this is these are the exact fears which are coming up for me on the surface you understood your pattern and then you again go deeper and understood that what is the root cause of this pattern how did you even become like this because if you remember yourself as a child hum jab chote 5 saal ke bacche hote hain aur bhi bahut chote ho sakte hain right and we we have a toy we have things around us so there's so much curiosity hum kuch bhi karte rehte the we would just go to the bathroom to the kitchen we don't even need we don't have to be told that oh this is a toy this is a barbie or this is a uh, you know a a car or this is a, a thing to play with we would play with like literally everything because at that point of time we are free flowing but again we go deeper into the root cause of that fear itself okay this is where it is coming from and we recognize that aha uh -huh, this is what this fear is made up of and then we connect to ourselves deeply to that particular part of us and again you under you already know the process of you know how to communicate to yourself how to talk to yourself so that healing can happen at the root level the deepest root level of where all of these fears got originated inside you so the process remains the same no matter which pattern you recognize this pattern this is an anxious preoccupied pattern so um, uh, if this keeps happening the same the same method you use and you once you heal it from the root of course it requires iterations the the child inside you because this becomes a habit this this is something which we go through for one one two three decades of our life so it would require more and more iterations at that point of time while you're doing this you you know like for an example the the example that mamta gave you also you know slowly start diverting your uh, energy towards taking actions which are more beneficial beneficial to you while you're healing this doing this kind of healing work on yourself you do that right and you slowly slowly start transitioning from that part so ek time ek side pe you are healing yourself ek side pe you're digging deeper you're soothing yourself you are communicating to yourself having that self talk and go, going deeper and deeper but at the same point of time there is also a part of you which is awakening which is also guiding you know your uh, energetic system towards thing things which you actually want things which you were actually afraid of and you slowly start doing those things you don't have to jump off the cliff right away one step at a time but a, because i'm sharing this with rupali and this is for everybody so once we reach that point where we have We we have like come deep into this process. Slowly, we can start transitioning, right? So that is the way where how we can you know clean cleanse it from the root itself and change the pattern. Ha, thoda time lag sakta hai. For some of us, it may take one month. Some of us may three months, six months, in year. But if we properly go to the root level, अगर ये process हम सच में करते हैं, if we are courageous enough to look into these things, courageous enough to heal these things from the root. one thing we can say very uh, confidently that all of these things you know can be healed these patterns can be healed within a defined period of time so aisa nahi hai that it it takes an indefinite period of time it takes a defined period of time can happen right slowly slowly so you start integrating yourself back so that's that's that rupali that wo jo us moment pe jo cheeze aa rahi hain you start writing those th things down and start recognizing ki pehli cheez to recognize karna hai ki why is it making you so uncomfortable right ha ek hi alag baat hoti hai ki jaise ki hota hai kabhi kabhi ki hamare saath koi hai nahi koi baat karne ko nahi hai kuch bhi nahi hai ye sab cheeze hoti hain to hame thod jab hum change hote hai koi bhi cheez then all of us feel very uncomfortable right all of us it's normal it's a human tendency but the moment we start dwelling into it and 
like the pattern we are discussing the overthinking pattern if it is coming up in the form of overthinking then it is showing us that it is an unhealthy healthy pattern inside us and that is something which needs to be seen which needs to be healed right. so the same process goes on for this for this pattern of overthinking as well yeah D does that answer your question rupali yes it does thank you so much uh, it is really very helpful so i can keep a track of all these thoughts and i can write it down and uh, try to see like consciously what what exactly it is triggered by and all that so i never analyzed it in this way but i can do it uh, and also like i was analyzing it in another way i was just being aware i was just uh, observing it and i was thinking that uh, you know until 2 years back when i was in india all these things never ever happened to me like anxiety panic attacks nothing nothing of these things happened to me so i was thinking in that way that what might have changed that now i have become this kind of a person where you know anything and everything just triggers me and i start into this uh, anxiety or panic mode uh, and i start getting overwhelmed and all those things so i was thinking in that way that i am aware that these things are happening now so that was my like end and conclusion so now i know that i have to not think about why i am in this situation but rather try to uh, understand yeah. and note down what yours exactly are triggering me, right so that this uh, because of which it is happening bilkul bilkul absolutely what you're saying is right and correct and applicable for all of us because this is how you know healing uh, uh, works we start from one point right and we be become aware of certain things and then we go deeper 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 and heal it and come out of it usme se there would be let's suppose five things so out of five three things we have seen that they have disappeared over a period of time but two things are still very rigid are still happening are still going on and then rather than you know coming to that point that i already know it's always a good check to to re, uh, to do the entire process as if you know you're starting it fresh so that you can see that was there anything that i missed in the process because the starting point is not you know we only get things in our awareness which we are ready for at that point of time so there could always be you know more causes underlying more things underlying so for an example if i take my example uh, there was one particular thing which i was struggling of and i have i have contemplated over it so many phases like so many times in my entire life it's been like 15 years since i'm contemplating on this and very recently i had a aha moment while, while i was talking to akarma and i was like oh shit as like कि मैं क्या क्या सोच रही थी और क्या क्या आई सो सो मेनी रूट कॉजेज आई वर्क ऑन देम एज वेल हील भी हुआ राइट सो आउट ऑफ टेन थिंग्स इट बिकेम नाइन इट बिकेम एट इट बिकेम सेवन इट बिकेम सिक्स ऐसे धीरे 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 यू नो वन इशू एट अ टाइम हीलिंग होती है एंड देन यू नेवर नो वट मोर सो सो अकर्मा यू नो एट दैट पॉइंट ही वॉज टेलिंग मी द सेम थिंग पहले तुम छोड़ दो यू लीव वॉट यू नो if you continue to hold on to what you know you'll never be able to see if there's anything else lying out there and i was like okay let me try it let me try it so let me just drop this thought that i know what the cause is and i was like let me start thinking fresh and when we start thinking fresh and discussing it and then something absolutely new came out of it and i was like oh god i just missed this over a period of time so that's how this happened that that doesn't mean that we continue to dig and dig and dig no no that's not how it is you dig you find you do the work good you have reached a point life is life was 10 times miserable now it is 8 times you again see what's left you dig you walk you heal and then again and this is how the process continues to happen and we are like you know layers and layers of onion one layer at a time one layer at a time so keep peeling yourself it's important that we continue to walk on the journey of peeling ourselves over rather than hum ye soch le ki nahi main pehle to pura hi dekh lo not required ya fir hum ye soch le ki you know abhi ye kaam kiya na to abhi ho gaya 
एंड देन वी स्टार्ट क्वेश्चनिंग वाई इज दिस थिंग हैपनिंग तो ये दोनों एक्सट्रीम्स में नहीं जाना है दिस थिंग वी नीड टू कंटिन्यू बींग इन द मिडल वे दैट ओके ये किया ये पूरा अप्लाई किया फिर से अब ये देखते हैं एंड दिस इज नॉट अ लीनियर प्रोसेस द वे आई एम डिस्क्राइबिंग इट दिस इज नॉट हाउ एक्चुअली लाइफ वर्क इट्स वेरी इट्स अ वेरी एक्सपेंसिव थिंग राइट सो योर सर्कल गोज बिगर एंड बिगर एंड बिगर एंड बिगर एंड बिगर उसका कोई लिमिट नहीं है सो ये कंटिन्यू करना डज दैट मेक सेंस रूपाली थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू रूपाली थैंक यू फॉर ब्रिंगिंग इट अप थिंकिंग so i wanted to understand is there is is there any connection between introspection and overthinking uh, uh one second akarma you are there yes yes i'm there yeah. yes yes abhilasha there is a there is a direct correlation between this um so uh, i think to understand this um, i have to uh, just go one two steps back and uh, again revisit the question that what is the difference between thinking and overthinking so um, thinking is is a good thing um, and and we require that um, for our day to day life for planning for action taking we need that right so uh, w- where does thinking stop and overthinking starts is when we are thinking about um, situations or things that are in, under our control and influence whatever we can control and influence if we are taking care of those things in our thinking process then all good overthinking starts when we go into those areas which are not in our control and influence and the worry starts so if we are worried about what the other person will say is they will say this they will do this and all that so as soon as we enter that mode where uh, it is now outside my control and influence i can't really do anything about it i don't know tomorrow it will be raining or it will be sunshine or it will be what and and i keep oh, you know i i, I want to uh, uh, feel in control and then i think about okay acha kal agar barish hogi to ye karenge kal agar sunny hoga to ye karenge kal agar aise hoga to ye karenge aur humko na bada acha feel hota hai ki okay i am in control oh kal kya hua agar meri tang mein moch aa gayi to to ye hmm. sab weather to sab theek tha but then all of a sudden in the morning i i, I have cramp in my leg tab what what will you do then so are you going to think about that also ki kal meri tang mein moch aa gayi to main kya karunga kal mere haath mein cut lag gaya to main kya karunga कल अगर ये हो गया तो क्या करूंगा तो दैट इज यू नो दिस इज वेयर वी स्टार्ट टू गो इन टू अ स्पायरल लूप वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल दो थिंग्स ऑल्सो दैट आर नॉट इन अवर कंट्रोल एंड इन्फ्लुएंस जस्ट बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू फील इन कंट्रोल सो इट्स एन इल्यूजन इट इट हैज ऑलवेज बीन एन इल्यूजन बट वी स्टिल वॉन्ट टू डिनाई दैट दैट इज एन इल्यूजन एंड वी स्टिल वॉन्ट टू ओवर पावर इट हम हम बेसिकली हम ये ट्राई करने की कोशिश करते हैं कि वी बिकम स्मार्टर देन नेचर इट सेल्फ एंड 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 हाउ आई कैन बिकम दैट एंड एंड इन इन ऑर्डर टू डू दैट वी बिकम मोर स्टूडेंट क्योंकि नेचर हैज अनलिमिटेड वेज ऑफ थ्रोइंग थिंग्स एट अस बट हम उसके ऊपर कंट्रोल करने की कोशिश करते हैं और उसको ओवर स्मार्ट करने की कोशिश करते हैं और उस ओवर स्मार्टनेस के चक्कर में हम स्टूपिड और इडियट बन जाते तो व्हेन वी आर इंट्रोस्पेक्टिंग एंड इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन इफ अगेन हम बोल कुछ भी रहे हैं हम वर्ड्स कोई भी यूज कर रहे हैं कोई इंट्रोस्पेक्शन बोल रहा है कोई कॉन्टेंप्लेशन बोल रहा है कोई अनालिसिस बोल रहा है कोई ये बोल रहा है हम लोग वर्ड्स अलग अलग यूज कर रहे हैं पर कर सेम ही चीज रहे हम्म हम्म 
सो so, अगर हम सेम ही चीज कर रहे हैं बस वर्ड्स अलग अलग यूज कर रहे हैं अपने आप को दिलासा देने के लिए कि नहीं नहीं ये ओवर थिंकिंग नहीं है ये एनालिसिस नहीं है ये तो इंट्रोस्पेक्शन है बट अल्टीमेटली मैं कर वही रहा हूँ टेंडेंसी वही है कि कैसे मैं कंट्रोल करूँ उन चीजों को जो चीज कभी मेरे कंट्रोल और इन्फ्लुएंस में थी ही नहीं तो अंटिल एंड अंडर एंड वाई दिस कम्स अगेन द रूट कॉज ऑफ दिस सो एज वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट अवेयरनेस अवेयरनेस इज नॉट you don't stop at awareness by saying i am an overthinker i am aware about it that's not awareness wo to fact hai wo to dikh raha hai to um wo awareness nahi hai awareness ye hai ki kyon why are you overthinker so going behind the scene so agar hum ek ek karke behind the scene jaate aur hum ye dekhte hai ki overthinking comes from the tendency of controlling which means i i have fear of the unknown i have fear Uh, of not able to handle when things will come and then if i go behind that thing ki why is that the case why am i uncomfortable with the unknown kyunki ye to unnatural hai for me to be afraid of something which is not in my control is is unnatural ye to ye to flow mein hi nahi hai ye to ye to impossible hai to main aisi cheez se darr raha hu jo जिसको कंट्रोल करना इम्पॉसिबल है और वो मैं जान रहा हूँ अपने एक्सपीरियंस से जान रहा हूँ दूसरों के एक्सपीरियंस से आज तक मैं किसी से नहीं मिला हूँ जिसने इन चीजों को ओवरकम कर लिया हो जिसने उस ताकत के ऊपर अपनी स्मार्टनेस दिखा दी हो नो बडी एग्जिस्ट लाइक दैट एंड येट आई एम गोइंग आफ्टर दैट अन अचीवेबल गोल वाई क्वेश्चन बिगेस्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई वाई एम अटेम्प्टिंग टू राइड दैट हॉर्स जो आज तक कोई नहीं कर पाया है और को, और हमने अपनी एक्सपीरियंस में हम कभी नहीं कर पाए ये सब जानते हुए भी ये गोल मैंने क्यों बना रखा है सो so, अब क्वेश्चन ये नहीं आ जाता कि वो मैं कैसे करूं मैं उस उस हॉर्स को राइड कैसे करूं क्वेश्चन ये आ जाता है कि मैंने इतना इम्पॉसिबल गोल पिक ही क्यों कर रखा है वो इसलिए क्योंकि आई एम अनकम्फर्टेबल विद मिस्टेक्स आई हैव लर्न from my childhood that mistakes are something to be avoided that can be that can could have come from uh, the father wounds mother wounds or other kind of places where i have been taught and conditioned mistakes are bad and i must do everything to avoid mistakes so maine kabhi bhi galti ki hai bachpan mein kuch bhi kiya hai to mujhko punishment mili hai mujhko i i have been reprimanded i have been humiliated i have been intimidated i have been insulted i have faced all sorts of things because i have made mistakes and i have learned over time that mistakes are bad and that belief is the root cause of all this right mm-hmm. yeah yeah this is the reason why i want to conquer mistakes i want to become a person who just doesn't make mistakes to humko na har cheez ko analyze karke har angle ko dekhna hai har taraf se dekhna hai isliye hame samajh hi nahi aata hai ki kab thinking over thinking mein convert ho gayi kahan rukna kahan hai chalna kahan hai hame pata hi nahi chalta hai kyunki hum us area mein bhi chale jate hain jo hamare control aur influence mein nahi hai because i have learned that mistakes are bad ऑल दो अगर मेरे को कोई लेक्चर देने के लिए बोले इस टॉपिक के ऊपर तो शायद मैं सौ लोगों के आगे खड़ा होकर लेक्चर देने में बहुत अच्छी तरह से बोलूंगा कि मिस्टेक्स आर वेरी गुड टू डू यू नो उसके बिना हम इम्प्रूव नहीं कर सकते उसके बिना हम बेटर वर्जन नहीं बन सकते हैं उस बिना मिस्टेक्स के तो कोई इनोवेशन नहीं होगी मैं लेक्चर बहुत अच्छा दे सकता हूँ सब क्या पर करूंगा नहीं खुद के लिए आई विल अवॉइड इट बट दूसरों को मैं लेक्चर जरूर दे दूंगा ज्ञान जरूर दे दूंगा कि मिस्टेक्स तो पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ है वो तो उसके बिना तो लाइफ चलती नहीं है वो तो उसके बिना तो कोई इनोवेशन नहीं होगी उसके बिना तो कोई डिस्कवरी नहीं होगी सो so, वो आ, कौन था जिसने वो बल्ब बनाया था और टेन थाउजेंड टाइम्स नाइन थाउजेंड टाइम्स वो फेल हुआ वो बनाया वो वो, वो एग्जाम्पल्स दे के हम बहुत बड़ी बढ़िया लेक्चर ज्ञानबाजी कर देंगे क्योंकि पता हमें सब कुछ है लेकिन जब बात आती है खुद करने की 
so this is the core belief which is underneath all these layers of onion jo wahan pe abhi bhi chupi baithi hai ki i do not accept mistakes as good i i have been taught aur wo mere dimag mein itni achhi tarah se drill ho chuka hai wo keela jo hai wo itna acha gad chuka hai dimag mein ki wo abhi nikal nahi raha hai uh, ki mistakes are bad and i must try and plan and control as much as i can aur wo as much ke chakkar mein hum kitni dur nikal jate hain hame khud nahi samajh mein aata wo thinking se overthinking mein kab convert ho jati hai हम और, और इतने साल करते करते हमको ये लगता है ये तो नॉर्मल है ऐसे ही तो है एंड पर वी हैव पीपल अराउंड अस आर आल्सो डूइंग दिस तो हमको कुछ उसमें गलत लगता ही नहीं तो गलत कैसे पता चलता है गलत और सही का पता आपकी बॉडी आपको बताएगी इफ यू आर फीलिंग एंशियस इफ यू आर फीलिंग वरिड if you are feeling unsettled in your body you are always shaking and all that your body is telling you you are on the wrong track aas paas ke logon ko mat dekho kyunki unki body bhi unko bata rahi hai but wo sun nahi rahe aas paas ke log andhe hai andhon se rasta mat puchho apna dekho yeah it's so surprising karma it's exactly what happens with me i just like even if i make a minor mistake uh, i do get anxious and i really feel like okay why did it happen i could have avoided like i just keep thinking because it has happened in my childhood that i've made mistakes and been humiliated and i've gone through those things so now if i make the tiniest mistake which like maybe nobody will care or so but it you know it just gets into me And I actually and think about it for days. अभी उनको शायद फर्क भी नहीं पड़ेगा बट यू आर इनफ आप अपने आप को ही बीट कर लेते हो अभी तो दूसरे की भी जरूरत नहीं है बचपन में दूसरे कर रहे थे बट अब तो आपने खुद ही सीख लिया उस सिचुएशन से आपने अपने आप को बीट करना सीख लिया अभी अभी आपको हंटर मारने के लिए कोई चाहिए नहीं अभी हंटर आपके पास है अभी खुद ही मार रहे थैंक यू सो मच दीज ऑल दीज थिंग्स एज वी टॉक अबाउट दे Uh, they they root from our conditionings which ultimately uh, you know everything can be traced back to insecure attachment styles um, many a times when we talk about uh, this um, so in fact i am thinking of starting a, a short series on this topic also kali mai baat kar raha tha namika ke sath um ki there is plenty of material out there which talks about secure attachment style in secure attachment styles and all that right so uh, people understand it yet many a times we come across people who are confused uh, or who genuinely confused aisa nahi hai ki wo kuch aisa they are making it up or anything they genuinely confused because kaise hai ki unko na apne ek side ke behavior se lagta hai ki but i am i am secure attachment style क्योंकि वो ऑब्जर्व कर रहे हैं कि ये हमने अगर उनको बताया कि इन सिक्योर अटैचमेंट स्टाइल की क्वालिटीज ऐसी होती हैं तो दे आर ऑब्जर्विंग हाँ ये तो हो रहा है दिस इज व्हाट आई डू गुड सो दैट्स गुड लेकिन इन सिक्योर अटैचमेंट स्टाइल जो स्टैंडर्ड डेफिनेशंस अवेलेबल हैं उसके बेसिस पे ये चीजें पकड़ी नहीं जाती थिंग्स लाइक सम वन ओवर थिंकिंग इवन ओवर केयरिंग ओवर गिविंग ये सारी चीजें ना हमें लगता है पर इसमें गलत क्या है ओवर कंसिडरेट ओवर नचरिंग तो हमें लगता है ये इसमें गलत कैसे है हाउ इज दिस इन सिक्योर अटैच तो अच्छी बात है ना हम दूसरों का ख्याल रख रहे हैं हम केयर कर रहे हैं हाँ अच्छी बात है बट द की वर्ड ओवर हियर इन ऑल दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन इज ओवर की वर्ड इज नॉट थिंकिंग की वर्ड इज नॉट नर्चरिंग की वर्ड इज नॉट केयरिंग की वर्ड इज ओवर जहां पे भी ओवर वर्ड लग जाता है वो टॉक्सिक हो जाता है एज वी से 
eating is good overeating is a problem same way thinking is not a problem overthinking is a problem caring is not a problem over caring is a problem giving is not a problem over giving is a problem nurturing is not a problem over nurturing is problem and all these things stem from insecure attachment style but ye link thoda advanced level ka hai ye aapko milega nahi kahin pe bhi iska link kyunki jo bhi information available hai net pe wo bahut basic level ki hai to us basic level ki information ke basis pe hum conclude karte hain ha but ye to bhi meri problem nahi hai but hai because as you can see right now as we are talking humne start baat ki thi overthinking ki but as we traced back we have linked it back to um, a person not having good relationship with the word mistake why because in their childhood in their upbringing in their environment they have been taught mistakes are something these are emotional wounds these are the wounds carried from family side father side mother side caregiver side teachers uh, grandparents koi bhi ho sakta hai environment mein se ye wounds aaye hain ये वुंड्स एड्रेस नहीं हुए हैं और जब तक ये वुंड्स एड्रेस नहीं होंगे सिक्योर अटैचमेंट स्टाइल का बिहेवियर आप ऊपर से अडॉप्ट कर सकते हो आप ये सब पढ़ सकते हो कि सिक्योर अटैचमेंट स्टाइल पीपल बिहेव लाइक दिस टॉक लाइक दिस तो मैं अभी वैसा बात करना वैसा वो करना सीख लेती हूँ वैसे करना सीख लेती हूँ तो कर सकते हो वो ऊपर की बात है अंदर से तो कोई शिफ्ट नहीं आया अंदर से तो अभी भी वो दिल तो ऐसा धड़कता ही रहता है ना वो जब सिचुएशन आती है ऊपर से हम दिखा सकते कि हम काम है हमें अंदर से तो दुख दुख हो रही है अंदर से तो पता है कि आई एम नॉट सेटल्ड आई एम आई एम एंशियस तो अंदर से सॉल्व करना इन चीजों को ऊपर से सॉल्व नहीं करना है आई थिंक आई टॉक एन ऑफ एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू से एनीथिंग ऑन दिस Uh, yes, Nita, go ahead. Yes, so when it comes to the awareness, right? Where we know that okay, now we are going into overthinking, and uh, so we may justify that okay, I am overthinking for gaining some clarity so that I don't make mistake. Uh, so how uh, how do we identify that? Yeah, now I have stopped. Like you mentioned, that difference between thinking. and overthinking is where uh when we start thinking of things which are beyond our control so that yes. is one way hmm. but like something yeah. where uh i think like um, your thoughts uh, i mean you believe in certain way but then uh you start experiencing things which are totally against your beliefs i mean would that also come under the overthinking so uh, to gain clarity that so what is really right and all can those can you give an example also, of what you are talking about yeah so like that's what like we have taught uh, and told something that yeah um maybe you should not lie and you should not cheat and but then like how do you actually uh, understand that yeah whether this person is a uh, lying or cheating i mean so it's like very fine line between i don't know so that's what like so when you have a confusion you are not clear about uh what you have been believing whether that's the right way or uh i don't know hmm koi baat nahi you can just what think about what you want to ask नहीं नहीं अभी एग्जांपल तो ठीक है बट मुझे क्वेश्चन क्लियर नहीं हुआ सो क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दैट्स व्हाट सो टू गेन क्लैरिटी व्हेन यू स्टार्ट क्वेश्चनिंग सो वुड दैट और टू गेट अ सॉल्यूशन टू कम टू एन आउटकम दैट ओके दिस इज राइट एंड रॉन्ग अगेन इट कम्स टू दैट मिस्टेक राइट लाइक सो यू थिंक दिस इज अ मिस्टेक एंड यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग ऑन द दोस लाइंस दैट ओके Uh, i don't want to make a mistake i don't want to take a wrong decision and i think along those lines that okay uh, is this a right decision is this a wrong decision so would that also come under overthinking 
ओवर थिंकिंग के अंडर क्या आएगा डिसीजन मेकिंग इज नॉट द इशू पी सो नो बडी इज अफ्रेड ऑफ मेकिंग डिसीजन वॉट पीपल आर अफ्रेड ऑफ द कॉन्सिक्वेंस द कॉन्सिक्वेंस इज वॉट वी आर अफ्रेड ऑफ राइट तो यू टेल मी अगर इफ यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट आई एम सेंग सो कॉन्सिक्वेंस इज वॉट यू आर अफ्रेड ऑफ करेक्ट सो यू आर अग्रिंग विद दिस हाँ और कॉन्सिक्वेंस कब पता चलेगा After you do it, taking action, correct. After taking action, so जब आपने अभी तक action ही नहीं लिया है, अभी consequence आया ही नहीं है, और अगर आप उसके पास ये मैं सोच रहे हो, तो अब आप मेरे को बताओ, वो thinking है या overthinking है? Overthinking नहीं हो जाएगा. Overthinking. Is that under your con uh, uh, control and influence? Control. No. नहीं. तो तो अभी आपको पता लगा ना? Decision making is under your control. Right. Correct. क्योंकि आपके सामने कुछ options हैं. Hmm. आप उन ऑप्शंस के ऊपर सोच के देख सकते हो लेकिन आपको ना ऑप्शंस में प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आपको प्रॉब्लम इसी चाहिए ये ऑप्शन ली तो ये हो गया तो वो हो गया तो वैसा हो गया वैसा हो गया ये ओवर थिंकिंग है सो प्रॉब्लम इज दैट वी आर नॉट रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस This is the reason we go in overthinking and consequence. You will only face when you take action. Action you only do when you stop thinking and take action. So, abhi to ab baithe hoye bas sochi rahe ho action to liya nahi hai consequence to aaye nahi hai. Lekin consequence ke baare mein soch rahe ho to overthinking hi hai na? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Thanks, Akarma. That answers my question. <laughs>